Yo, what is up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video today. Okay, I'm Mike going crazy. Today, I want to show you guys a quick little tip and a little thing that you can do in FL Studio. A lot of you guys have been asking about it, and it's something that I use all the time. It is how to make effect scenes inside of FL Studio and why you should use them. Now, I'm going to show you how to make one, and the reason you should use them is because it's great because it saves CPU usage if you don't have a good computer. Because I know a lot of you guys own them cheap Walmart computers that ain't shit. Um, but I mean, hey, it, it, it helps you out with so you can add more effects to your plugins, and also. Also, it allows you to add a unified uh, effect that you can put on every sound that's good. I use it for like reverbs and delays stuff like that, especially with vocals and all that, because it just saves up, like I said, uh, space. You can get a better sound. You can EQ it and all that kind of stuff. So I'll show you how to set one up. So in FL Studio 12, the new update to 12.5, uh, they don't have the scenes. Like I know in 11 in the older version of 12, they have four scenes already set up. But if you don't have if you don't have that, there's an easy way to set them up. Like I got them set up right here. But um, the way to set one up is you just right click one, you just highlight a channel, you go to dock the left or right if you're on FL 12 or you know whatever, it'll dock it and it'll put it right here. So now that's uh, number uh, 99. Now, what you want to do is go to your, we'll just go ahead and mute that sand, and we'll say I'll, I'll rename it reverb. Reverb, I think I spelled it right. Who cares if I don't? And I just add one of my favorite reverbs, which we well, add a stock reverb. Why not? That's even better. All right, add a stock reverb. So we got a fruity reverb too. Uh, make sure the wet is all the way up because when you send the fix, you want to make sure the wet knob is all the way up. We don't uh, want no dry, we just want straight wet. That's it. Put on restart, leave that alone. What is the early reflection level? Yeah, I'll leave that down. But yeah, we want just the wet all the way up so it's just completely wet. And then we'll just dial it in how I want to make it a big room. Now, I'm going to send this piano right here. I'm going to send this piano channel to this reverb. So what you want to do is click on your piano channel. And then down here below, you can either right click and go to route to this channel. Or that, or if you, you know, FL12, you just click this and just turn it down. Now it's routed to this channel. What that means is the piano is going into this reverb and then out to your master bus. So... Now, what you want to do is you dial in how much reverb you want on the piano. So, bam, there you go. And you can, you know, dial in how much reverb you want. You can do the same thing with delay, uh, whatever effects you want. It's a great thing to do. And like I said, I also like to say, if I want this sound right here. Instead of me having to put another reverb on here and change the setting, I can just route it to this channel too, and then dial in the reverb. And now they have the both the same exact reverb settings on them, and I can you know dial it in how much I want. Uh, like I said, the main thing just remember is to keep your wet knob all the way to the max, no matter what you know plugin you use. Um, if you're using like Fab Filter or some other third-party plugin, make sure your wet is all the way up. And uh, another good thing to do, let's say, like if your uh, reverb doesn't have like an EQ, the good thing about fixed sense, you can put an EQ after it, and you can actually EQ the reverb. So we'll go ahead to the piano, let's solo the piano. You can actually EQ just the reverb. So you can cut out all that mud in the reverb, you know, keep it nice and clean. So that's why I like using the effect scenes because it allows you to manipulate and affect your um, set your um, effects a lot better. And you can just get a better sound. Like I said, it also gives everything, you can put everything in one unified uh, space. So it's, you know, like the old days when everybody used to record in the same room, you can send all the effects to the same reverb, the same delay, or send whatever effects you want to the delay and all that. Like I said, it frees up space. Now I don't have to have, you know, five different, uh, seven different reverbs on each channel just to get a reverb reverse sound so yeah quick little tip right there on how you guys can make effect scenes in fl studio and why you should use them because they definitely will speed up your process speed up your workflow and make everything just a whole lot easier to do in the end so yeah hope you guys enjoy like always you know who it is your boy slim aka mr different not motivated by the money but the like comment, subscribe, and views like always um let me guys know what you want to see and i'll definitely get down to it so with that said hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one everybody